Uh, this is going to be lessons in uh, what we call life path numerology. And this is will be like an advanced course. I'll start from A to Z. The first time I taught a course in numerology was in 1971. And uh, I taught the course, and uh, ever since then I've been doing it. I was a traveling psychic mystic for 15 years where every week I went across the eastern United States somewhere, and I did a psychic fair. And I did it every week, 52 weeks out of the year, and uh, and I kept going. But we'll, we'll start real... Uh, well, this gives you a bird's-eye view of one's life, the breaking points of one's life, where they go through a major shift in their pattern. It also tells uh, the story of the pluses and minuses in their life, the, the advantages that they have and the handicaps that they have. And we all have things we have to overcome and things that come easy. Uh, the first cycle of lifetime numerology is the month and the day added. So in this case, it was June 10th, and that would be 16. 6 plus 10 is 16, and 16 is a 7. Uh, when it comes to pinnacles, uh, we uh, we add the numbers of the pinnacles and we re reduce by addition. In other words, the numbers are reduced, but it didn't reduce because we're adding 1 and 6, uh, 16 to, to get a 7. So that's the first cycle. Uh, the second cycle is the day of the month somebody's born and the year. So we go 1 and 9 is 10, 18, 27, 37, and we put that in the second cycle. 37 is a 1. If we went 3 and 7 is 10, 1 and 0 is 1. So we're reducing the numbers by addition because they're pinnacles, they're the pluses. The third cycle is the first and second cycle uh, combined together. It equals the third cycle. So if we go 37 and 10 is 47, 53. So 37 and 16 equals 53, and 5 and 3 is 8. So the first cycle is a 7, the second cycle is a 1, and the third cycle is an 8. Now the fourth cycle is derived by Aaron, the total uh, of the year and the month combined. So we we go, the year is 19, uh, 27, 10, 18, 27, and um, the month is 6, is 33. So the last cycle is 33, 6. We reduce them by addition. 3 and 3 is 6. So the first pinnacle is, is 7, the second is 1, the third is eight, and the fourth is six. So this would show you how to ascertain. And then later on, I'm going to show you what the challenges are. These are what they call the pinnacles. These are the pluses that we have in our life. And these are the dividing points. The dividing points between one cycle and another, you'll see a major event occurring in a person's life. And the cycle between the second and third cycle, all of a sudden, at that age, you're going to see a big shift in what the person is doing or the way they're living or their attitude and so forth and so on. And between the third and the fourth cycle, uh, you'll see a shift again. But if we looked at this, uh, the person has a seven on top. It's a pinnacle. And they learn by experience. They're a very studious type of person. They have their own philosophy and life because they're the seven, which is Neptune. And the 16 causes some uh, de detachment with a male, M-A-L-E. And the, it's called the Shattered Citadel. And I said this on some other tapes. The Shattered Citadel shows a man uh, falling from a, a lightning-struck tower with a crown in his hand. And it means that somewhere from zero to what the age that's indicated here, which 
we're going to go into later, uh, there will be a detachment with a male, or a male will go out of the person's life, or they were born without a father figure, or whatever. And then in the second cycle, they have a 37-1. They become very independent at, at the age between the first and second cycle, and they, oh, 37 is benefits from the opposite sex. They get opposite, they get benefits from the opposite sex, and they make a new start in their life. Uh, n- number one is the sun. It brings clarity in one's life. It brings a new start. It brings independence. Uh, and, and it brings a, a new direction in one's life. Now, be, uh, in the next cycle, the third cycle, they go into 53-8. That means that it's a financial cycle. Uh, and 8 is Saturn. It, it teaches one's lessons. But it's all good because it's on the plus side. This is The top, the pinnacles, is what's working for the person. Now, 33-6, uh, the 6 stands for family. It stands for service. It stands for... Um, uh, let okay. It, it stands for uh, being able to give people your opinions and help others, and uh, this person, because of the thirty three, could be considered an expert, and it, it's also a Venus cycle. So I'll, I'll explain some of these things more, but I'm giving you the idea. Uh, on the next one, I'm going to go into the challenges. And then what I'm going to do is uh, show you how to figure out when things are going to happen. Because I was uh, known as the man who sees events before they happen. And this is one of the methods I use for making a major prediction in somebody's life. But I would do it in four slices in this case. But I had other methods for doing other things. But just bear with me. This is part one.